Hello guys, I want to introduce Factory Talk software. Before that, we'll do and test a simple traffic light project. During this project, we'll review some basic instructions. Also, we'll see how a memory address can be defined in ArsLogix 5000. Then, in the next video, we'll use Factory Talk software to monitor and control the traffic light project. Factory Talk can design some screens like this, which can help us to monitor and control an industrial process. My name is Syed Reza, and before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. If you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, let me define a simple traffic lights project based on this simple intersection. Here we have two streets, A and B. I want to write a simple program to control two traffic lights, when I press a start push button, first, A street must be open for 20 seconds. During this time, the red light of B street will be on. Then, after 5 seconds, which yellow light will be on for A street, cars, which are at A street, must be stopped behind the red light, and the B street will be open for 10 seconds. After that, the yellow light of B street, will be on for 5 seconds. Then this cycle will be continue, until a stop push button is pressed. So, the first step is using a timer to create the sequence. Let me open the ArsLogix 5000 to write a program for the traffic lights. In this project, I will use a virtual PLC station using ArsLogix Emulate 5000 software. There are several ways to write the traffic light program. First, I store the start request on a bit of PLC memory, using a latch instruction. Here are bit instructions. These instructions were explained, when we were using ArsLogix 500 software. Now, let's see how these instructions can be used in ArsLogix 5000. For this contact, I use a digital input address. The selected digital input is used to activate the traffic light control, so let's write the start as a description. As you know, the latch instruction can be used to set a bit of memory. To create a memory, first, I must select its name. Then, I right click and select new. In this window, I determine its properties, like its type which is bool. Let's use default settings. Now, I can use this memory in my program, which its type is bool. If you remember, in ArsLogix 500, we used an address of the binary data file. But in ArsLogix 5000, we create any data type, and also determine its name. In the next rung, I want to use the on underscore off memory, to activate a timer. Also, I will use this normally close contact, to restart the timer after 40 seconds. Here are timer and counter instructions. These instructions explained before, when we were using ArsLogix 500. If you remember, in ArsLogix 500, we have used an address of the timer data file. Here, I write a name. Then, in this window, I select timer as its data type. In the ArsLogix 500, we can determine the base time for timer instructions. But here, I must write the desired time, base on milliseconds. So, I write 40,000 as the preset value. That's equal to 40 seconds. Well, I use this bit of memory, to activate the inserted timer. Also, 
I use the done bit of the inserted timer, for this normally close contact. It makes to restart the inserted timer, after 40 seconds. I will test it for you. Now, let's have another digital input, to reset the inserted timer, and the created on off memory. I will need to use unlatch and reset instructions. The second digital input will be used, to stop traffic light control. So, I write stop in its description column. Let's verify the project, to ensure there isn't any error. Now. I can download the program to the virtual processor. Ok, the virtual processor is in run mode, let me change it to program mode. Alright. The program has been downloaded to the virtual processor. Let's back to run mode. Let's activate this digital input. As you see the timer has started its work. In the second rung, after 40 seconds, the Don bit of the inserted timer will be activated. So, this normally close will be open, which makes to stop the timer. When the timer is stopped after 40 seconds, the Don bit will be reset too. Thus, the normally close will pass the virtual power again and restart the timer after 40 seconds automatically. As you see, the timer started its work again. If I inactive this digital input, the timer continues timing. Because I have stored start request on this bit of memory. Based on the last rung, I can use this digital input, to reset the inserted timer and clear the created bit memory, on underscore off. As you see, if I press the start and stop digital inputs, simultaneously. The stop request will have priority over the start request. Although, the processor decides to activate the inserted timer in the first and second rung, but its final decision, is to reset the timer and clear on underscore off memory, in the last rung. Pay attention, here are two ways, to complete this program. Based on conditions, or based on outputs. Let me explain the first way. First condition turn on green A. Also it turn on the red B. So I can make a branch in my program to turn red B light on. But this way is not true in PLC programming, but why? See next condition, this condition turn on yellow A, and red B lights. Now suppose the timer is at 10 second. Base on first condition, the red B must be on, but CPU turn it off because of second condition. In other word, second condition take priority over first condition. Like the previous simulation, when the stop request had priority over the start request. This program must be written based on outputs. I have to use one output for each lights in my program, and find what conditions turn on them. For example, I must use one output instruction for the red light, and write conditions which make it on, behind that. Alright, let's back to ArsLogix 5000, and complete the traffic light project. First, 
I insert 6 outputs energize instructions, because 2 traffic lights have 6 lights. I need to use 6 digital outputs, for the 6 inserted instructions. Let's use the first digital output, for the green light of street A. Similarly, let me use the next digital outputs, and write an appropriate description for each one. Now, I use selected digital outputs, for the inserted output energize instructions. Now, based on the timer value, I need to know when each output is on. Let's start with the green light of street A. For this light, I need to compare the current time, with 0 and 25 seconds. So, I need to use compare instructions. These instructions had been explained, when we were using Arslogix 500 software, in the previous videos. Let me use limit instruction. This instruction will check, the current time of the inserted timer, test value, be greater than its low limit, and also be less than its high limit. In these conditions, the green light will be on. Note that, the timer value is based on milliseconds, so I must write 20,000, which is equal to 20 seconds. Also, if I reset the timer, its value will be zero. So. I start the low limit, with 1 instead of 0. Similarly, I can write appropriate conditions for each output, which make them be on. The next output is the yellow light of street A. It must be on, when the current time is greater than 20 seconds, and less than 25 seconds. Note that, there are two time periods, for the red light of street A. Similarly, the second traffic light can be programmed. This is the final program, which has been transferred to the virtual PLC. These three outputs, which are used for the first traffic light, are connected to these digital outputs, and these three digital outputs are used for the second traffic lights. Let's start the traffic light project like the previous simulation. As you see, my program is working correctly. You can detect the state of each output, based on digital outputs of the virtual module, or based on green lines in the program. The traffic light was a simple project. As you see, it's a little hard to test the program, with this simple graphic. But what about an industrial process? It may have 100 or 1000 lights, motors, or sensors, which must be monitored, all the time. A PLC programmer like you, maybe use Arslogix 5000 software, but a simple operator cannot do that. Here, some HMI screens can be designed for operators. To monitor the industrial process, and show necessary alarms or warnings to the operator. In the next video, we'll use factory talk software, 
to monitor the traffic light project. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.